Okay. So, today's the day. We're going to be reviewing the Dyson Airstream. Here it is in the box. And just to be very, very clear, I purchased this with my own coins. This was extremely expensive. But I had to do this because I wanted to know if it works on thick curly hair. And in case you're like, what? Is her hair thick and curly? Yeah, hold on. Let me go ahead and let this down. A little bit about my hair. I really don't like hair typing like that, but for the sake of this video, I am 3C, 4A, curly coily, medium to high density. And here are my curls. Let me shake this down a little bit. Okay, so here's my hair. I have a lot of hair, obviously. I have not straightened my hair in three, no, yeah, I haven't straightened my hair in four years. I mean, technically, will this count as straightening? I don't know, we'll have to see with the result. Also, I'm gonna pop in a picture right here to show you what my hair looks like detangled. This is what my curls look like detangled. And here is what, what my hair looks like with no product. I don't do the no product thing too much, so my hair was blonde in this picture. Going without products, my hair just kind of like dries out those products lock in moisture, so you don't see me do that too much, but this is what it looks like without product. Just so you know, your girl has thick hair. Now, why am I saying this? Because I've seen people review this air, air straight, but I really haven't seen a lot of reviews with people that actually had thick curly hair. I've been seeing more wavy or straight hair results. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna take one for the team. I believe this was let me check my receipts real quick. Let me check and see. Because we're we going to get this right. This thing was very expensive. I bought it from Sephora.com. But let me check my receipts real quick. I'm going to tell you how, how much it costs down to the taxes on it. Because, baby, I was hurting. I wanted to get it a while ago, okay? But I was like, oof. This price is definitely um, one of the most expensive things I have bought hair-wise. But at the same time, we're going to see if this works because I also believe that certain investments may be worth it. This is supposed to not damage the hair, which is very important to me. I have color-treated hair. I love my curls. And that's one of the main reasons why I don't straighten my hair like that because I don't want to risk damage. So if this can get me, I'm not sure if this is going to get me straight, but if it can get me close to straight with the least hair damage, with as little hair damage as possible then i don't know we're gonna see if this is a win <laughs> i'm sick right now for real sorry this cost me 525 dollars all right enough talking i'm gonna get in the shower i'll be back we're gonna do this on wet hair from the wet to dry look all right here it is so far so good you know, at 550, I would have liked a box or something with this, some type of storage case. So it comes with this mat. I like that. A manual's in here. And that's it. Ooh, glad I didn't drop that. So this is nice, pretty nice. Here she is, she looks very pretty. I assume this is how we unhook it, yep. It wasn't, it actually was not that many instructions on it, but I know first it says to close this. Slide that down. Heck? Okay, now it's closed. Then I'm going to turn it on. Somehow I already know I'm doing it on wet hair. I'm gonna use my brush. Do that again. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was two passes. I'm gonna do a third pass. My ends desperately need to be clipped. I'm not gonna use that to brush it through. Okay. 
So far, I really like that one. My roots feel pretty flat, and that's because of the round brush thing that I did. Oh, my roots look so good. I need my ends clipped, but let me stand up a little. This isn't bad. This is not bad. I think I'm kind of impressed, but this is the easiest part of my hair right here, this back portion. So we gotta keep going. protector again that was too much but my hair feels so soft I cannot stop touching it other than my ends oh I can't wait to get rid of these ends but other than that it's very soft what I would say is like this is drying right now I would say it needs to be wet so so soft okay so here's what the side looks like I definitely wish I could curl this or do something with it I think the curling it would look better I feel like if I went over it with a straight a flat iron it would look straighter this is definitely given stretch though a good very good stretch as a flat iron of course you know I think we just got to stop comparing it to a flat iron because it's not a flat iron but also is it a straight look not not I don't think it's not the straight that you know we're used to straight like when a curly coily person says you know I'm getting my hair straightened we not we not talking about this we not now stretch yeah this is it. I want to see other styles. I'm curious to see if I can use like a curling barrel with this and if that might make it look a little better since my hair is used to being curled or just doing like any type of flexi rod set or something with it. I think that would look really, really good. I'm going to keep going though. I'm going to see this through. Stretched. Not stretched. Okay. I finished my hair at 145. I just needed to get my thoughts together. Jeez, just really let me know I needed my ends clipped. I would say, am I impressed with this? Yes, I am. I think this is really cool. Um, I finished at 145. It took me an hour and 30 minutes or an hour and 45 minutes, which if I was like to have straightened my hair, to straighten my hair takes two hours. Of course, when you straighten, before I straighten my hair, I have to blow dry my hair first, right? So to blow dry my hair, that typically without my Rev Air, because I use a Rev Air now, but in the past, to blow dry my hair, it would take about an hour. So all together, to blow dry and then straighten my hair would take three hours. This gave me a blow dry and a stretch in about an hour and 45 minutes. I feel like if I was to flat iron, to flat iron my hair right now would probably take me like 20 minutes because my hair is so soft. I would probably just be going through. I really think it would be quicker. So overall, yeah, I do feel like this would make the process of if you were to blow dry and flat iron your hair quicker. I can say that I like it. Typically when I want to stretch my hair, I use a rev air. And I do like this stretch. I like the air straight stretch better than the rev air my hair feels softer and that could also be because of the product i use it still feels like kind of like flowy and bouncy i never showed you what the back looks like so overall i do think that this is very innovative it's cool great if you want to stretch your hair i'm still deciding on whether or not i will be keeping this though because i have the dyson air wrap i'm gonna try that out with the firm brush and i'm gonna see how that stretches next time i also have the shark flex style um i want to test that out too and see how that stretches so if they all stretch about the same I'm more than likely gonna send the air straight back because there's no point in me having three things that all all stretch hair. I think it's gonna be down to who can do it the quickest. Overall, I think all the options I have kind of limit damage as much as possible, which is always great if you have curly hair.
course, I need my ends clipped. So I feel like I can't be too picky on this hairstyle. My hair feels very, very soft. It does not smell burnt at all, which I love. I want to try with the round brush attachment. I have a Shark. Of course, I talked about that. I have the Shark Flex app. I also have the Dyson Air Wrap. I'm going to try out both of them. But one of them I'm actually going to do on my mom, who is type 4. So, because I feel like I started to get the hang of stuff. But I want to try it out on my mom and see how her results come out as well try a couple of different things so make sure you stay tuned if you're not already please make sure to subscribe like let me know your thoughts in the comments is this something that you will be getting would you want to try it out one last thing I do feel like this would be cool for someone who likes to stretch their hair and then do like flexi broad styles or something like that but like I, I think you know as I mentioned before if you have thick curly hair I don't think this is really gonna straighten it for you it's gonna give you a really nice stretch though but is it gonna straighten it mm -mm. so let me know your thoughts I like how this turned out I'm going to probably do like a half up half down style something like this yeah I'll probably do like a pretty fluffy half up half down style because my hair is definitely fluffy uh will it last I'm not sure I don't straighten my hair that much remember you guys it's been four years since I straightened my hair so I guess I also have to take that into account as well because when you don't straighten your hair like that when you finally do go to straighten it it's not as sleek as someone who might be natural but they straighten their hair all the time but yeah i think this is a style i'm gonna do for today okay i'm really going this time bye y'all thank you so much for watching